Hey everyone, how you all doing? Blue here, back for our Minecraft Medieval Castle. Now, before we get started today, yes, we are back, and no, we are not quitting the castle series. There has been so many questions over that recently, guys, and the truth is, I just needed a little break away from the castle. We've been building this now for about three months, and I'd say about 90% of my videos have all been on the castle, and I just needed a little breather and a little sort of chance for me to just mess around with something different and just keep myself inspired with building. Now, with that being said, I have got a bunch of great ideas for today's video. So, we're going to go ahead today and start working on the dungeons and on the armory. So, with that being said, guys, let's get building. Alright guys, let's not hang around today. We've got a bunch of work to get done. So we're going to head straight downstairs to where the story system is. Now, at the end of last episode, I did go ahead and say about adding some vines and stuff from the ceiling or some leaves like this. And I went ahead and kind of done that on all of the layers for myself. And I think it looks really cool. Um, you know, I didn't go too crazy. I tried to leave a nice big gap in between it all so that it didn't look too much. And I think overall... I would say this actually looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with the way that it's turned out. So if you guys want to go ahead and add that in for yourself, if you haven't done already, then go ahead and do so. But I think it just adds a nice little break in between all of the spruce wood. Now, with that being said, guys, we're going to go straight back up to our top level up here. And we're going to start where our stairway is here because we're going to make a dungeon and a torture room through here. Now, before we go ahead and do that, I just want to fill the rest of the walls in here to kind of section off the kind of entranceway here. So what we're going to do is we've got a lot of our spruce wood already marked out. So we're going to start by raising the spruce blocks here, 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 uh, this one, this one, this one, this one, and then this one here. We're going to raise them all up to the ceiling first of all. So let's get that all in place. Okay, now that's all in place, we're going to go ahead and we're going to leave this one here as it is. But from the little gaps that we have here, we're going to put in a pillar across like this. Then we're going to fill up a gap like this. We'll continue that across here. And then across the doorway here, it will be exactly the same like this. Except we will end up with two pillars going across here and here. And then the same across this gap here. Okay, and then we will have a pillar here, a pillar here. We're going to leave that section behind there because for the moment we just want to fill up this entrance room here, okay? So let's go ahead, do that, and then in the gaps between here, we're going to also go ahead and add two blocks of our smooth uh, smooth sandstone, okay? So we just want to bring these all up to the ceiling and then take that all the way around. This wall here, all we're simply going to do is go ahead and just fill this in like this all the way up to the roof here. We'll have to get rid of the torch here, but make sure there are some torches behind the back of the wall here so that things are well lit up and also make sure that you go ahead get your torches here and make sure you've got some behind the backs of this because you want to make sure that this is well lit up behind here so that you don't get any mob spawn as well so let's go ahead and get that all in place Okay, once that's all in place, we're going to go ahead and get our smooth sandstone. And underneath here, we're just going to fill the two levels here up until we're one block below the pillar at the top here. Do the same on this side. And then we're just going to join the tops together like this. We'll leave the inside of this room here because we'll be coming back to that later on. But for now, we're just going to concentrate on this room. Now in here, in the middle here, I'm going to place a lantern there, a lantern there. Then over here, I think we're going to put in some fences just like this. And then we'll put some lanterns on top like so. And then get rid of any of the torches that we have here. That will do for now. 
Then we're going to go ahead, we're going to put an upside down stair here, upside down stair here, same on this one, then the same on the wider ones here and in here. Okay, now before we finish up this room, we're going to just do something with the ceiling and we're going to keep it pretty simple. So starting over the corner here, we're going to place a log coming across this side like this all the way until we join to this side. And then we're going to just place it on every other block all the way across here like this. And again, we're going to extend them over. But before we do that, where we have this third pillar here, we want to bring this one here all the way over here till we get to this side. Then from where the stairway is here, we're going to join the top of this one to this one. So these ones in the corner here are only going to join to this pillar here, leaving this area here open. So let's go ahead and fill these in. Okay, now that we've got our beams all in place, we're going to start by placing two full blocks underneath the pillar like this. Then we're going to put an upside down stair and then a slab like that. But we're not going to do that on every one. We're just going to do it on every other beam. Okay, so the next one will be done here. And then the next one be done here and then so forth. So let's go ahead and just put that in. And we're also going to put it on the opposite side here, making sure that we put it on the same part that we put it on this side. So this one will start on this one. Then we'll do this one, then this one. So let's go ahead and get those all in place. Okay, now once you've got these all in place, you're going to make sure that you leave this one, uh, these ones over here and leave this corner one here because it would look a little bit odd trying to fit it all in on that one edge. So we're just going to have one on that side, leaving this pillar. Now the next part is pretty simple. We're going to go ahead, fly up to the ceiling and in between the pillars of, on the roof here, we're going to go ahead and put a row of slabs just like this. Then we're going to do that all the way across, including these two gaps here. Obviously not at this point here though. Now that that's all in place, we're going to go ahead and we're going to come to the gaps here in between our two sort of main beams here. We're going to put a slab at the back, which now makes that a full block. We're going to put a slab in front of those and then three upside down stairs in the gap like this. And we're going to go ahead and do that all the way across. So two slabs first of all, and then upside down stairs underneath, leaving a pattern like this. Let's go ahead and fill the rest of the gaps in on this side here, and also this side here. Now bearing in mind, we can't really complete it in this little corner here. So what we would end up doing would actually be um, bringing our full block down and then a stair there. Then we'd have to go a full block and then I have missed my slabs over here just like that. Okay. So that should just basically be part of the pattern repeating across. Let's go and do the rest. Okay, now the last thing to do here is add a little bit of light. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and where we've got this first point of our um, log here, we're going to go over one and put in an, uh, a uh, fence like this. And then we're going to put a lantern on the bottom of the fence. We're going to move across to the next one. So we're going to be skipping this one and then coming to this one. And we're going to do exactly the same thing. Now over this side here, I'm going to put one here and then put my lantern on it. And I think I'm gonna leave it like that. Then we're just gonna get rid of this last torch here and any other torches that you might have laying around in this room. Okay, so we're gonna be coming back a bit later to do some more decoration in this room. But for the moment, I'm not certain what I wanna do in here just yet. So I think we'll come back later on to do some decoration. But for now, we're gonna head into this room here, which is gonna be the dungeon and the torture room. So let's go ahead and put an upside down stair, first of all, at each side of our door. Then we're going to get our spruce logs. We'll place one here and one here. And we're going to take both of those all the way to the ceiling. 
place one in the center and bring it down until we have a three block gap. Then we'll place an upside down stair from this side to make ourselves a nice little doorway. Now, before we do anything in here, we're gonna need to change up the floor. So before we do that, let's go ahead first of all, we're gonna break two blocks up from here. So we should only have two blocks at the ceiling there. And we're gonna bring it all the way around to this wall here. And then just get rid of what is in between here for the minute. Just like so. Now we're gonna go ahead and replace all of this spruce floor here, all the way until we get to this block here. Okay, we don't want to go past this into the outs into this area here. We want to keep it all behind here. Okay. Now the flooring in here, I want to kind of mess this up a little bit. This wants to feel a bit more dungeon, a bit more sort of run down. So we're gonna go with some cobblestone, mossy cobblestone polished andesite, stone bricks, cracked stone bricks this is supposed to be, so let's quickly change that. We want some cracked stone bricks and maybe a little bit of gravel if you want to, it's up to you. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do that throughout all the flooring that gets seen on the inside of this area, okay? All the flooring here, all the way down to the back there. So let's go ahead and do that before we do anything else. Now, like I said, guys, I'm going to be using this combination of brick blocks, but you can use a different combination if you wish. Okay, now that the floor is all in place, we're going to come over here. So just come in underneath the stair area here. Now we've got the last stair that connects here. What we're going to do is break these stairs here all the way up to the top ones. Now you can fill the top area here with what if you like or put a torch up there but we want to basically bring it down to this level just here in line with that beam and what we're going to do is put a torch right in the middle there also make sure you get a torch just in the middle there to make sure it's lit up underneath there and this is going to be a little storage area not really much use but we just fill it with some barrels and bits like that now, over in this corner here, we're just going to basically finish these walls by bringing up our pillars one here. And then we're going to put one right here. And again, it's probably a good idea to go ahead and put a torch on the inside there so that it doesn't fill up with any mobs. Bring this one all the way to the ceiling. Then we're going to place another pillar on this side. Bring one here. Then I think we're going to bring one over to here, leaving a one block gap. And then we're going to join straight up to the corner here so that it sort of finishes off the wall. And again, we're going to put in a torch and then some sandstone in this little gap here. Just like that. Then where the door frame is here, I think we're going to go ahead and we're going to put a pillar across at this height, which is the fifth block up from the ground. One, two, three, four. And then the fifth one there. Place a pillar in the center and then two of your smooth sandstone like that just to really neaten that off then if we get ourselves some spruce stairs we can go ahead and place an upside down one there and there and there we go that finishes off our wall now we're gonna go ahead and mark out where we're gonna have the little prison cells so basically from this pillar here, which is by the stairs, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. And for now, I'm going to mark this with the uh, stone bricks. Then I think what we're going to do is we're going to grab some stone. We're going to go one block in here and use stone, which will leave us a three block area. Then we're going to leave a three block gap. We put another stone there and then we'll put five of our stone bricks like this. Now, because this wall dips back a little bit, we're going to make the cell, the next cell dip back a little bit. So we're going to put in the stone and we're going to put it one further back, leaving a three block gap here. Leave a three block gap, place another one here. And then we're going to do that five blocks out like that. Okay. Now for this one, I think what we're going to do is we're going to bring the stone blocks all the way, uh, the stone bricks all the way up to the ceiling like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to blend them in with these walls here a little bit. So we're going to use some stone bricks, some stone andesite, and then maybe some cracked, um, cracked stone bricks as well. 
and we're just going to randomly mix it up no specific blocks in any order and we're going to do that for this wall this wall and then this wall leave the stone blocks for the moment because we're going to use a different blocks for those okay now we got that all in place we're going to go ahead and first of all let's just put a seed in inside here this is going to be one of the dungeon cells so what we're going to do is go one two three four with our stone blocks and we're going to make that two layers thick coming down making sure we've got this one block edge at the side here and we want to do that all the way across just like that and then we're going to go ahead and fill this one up here with a stone and this one up here and then finally we're going to add one two layers of stone down like this okay let's copy that over to this side as well Okay, now we've got that all in place, we're going to go ahead and just put two layers of stone bricks down here and we're going to combine it with a few cracked stone bricks, something like that, maybe a little bit of andesite in there as well, just to kind of rough it up a little bit and we're going to do the same in here, so two layers of our stone bricks and again just go ahead and rough it up with some cracked stone bricks, maybe some andesite or stone. Even a little bit of cobblestone, if you wanted to, would work here pretty well too. Now, we're just going to go ahead and add an upside down stair at that side, one at that side, and then do the same on this little gap here, making sure that they are upside down. There we go. Two little dungeon cells. Now, before we move any further, guys, we're going to grab ourselves some cool stir and some grass path blocks because what we're going to do is we're going to just make the inside area here just look a little bit more worn down. I mean, the, the stone blocks on that look good, but I think it still needs to be a little bit more kind of um, grungy and a bit more dirty. So let's go ahead, put in a few blocks of coarse dirt here and there. Not going too crazy with this. This is just kind of scattered here and there. Very random. Um, more so in towards like corner areas like this where it might just kind of wear down a little bit. Maybe areas that would be commonly trod on. And just stuff like that. So let's go ahead, do that, and also add in a few blocks here and there of your grass path. Because it's got a little dip on it, it kind of makes it look like it's been worn away. So I think it gives it a nice little effect in this area. Okay, as you guys can see, I also added in some mossy cobblestone, a few extra mossy cobblestone here. I think it just looks a bit better with a few more in here, which I think looks really cool. Now, coming around to this corner here, as you can see, we've got this long stretch of wall here, okay? So where this stretch of wall ends here, we're going to go ahead and place one, two, actually, we'll make that our stone bricks. One, two, three of our stone bricks here, and then one here. So from this side here, it looks like there's two blocks at each side. Let's go ahead, bring that all the way to the ceiling on that side, and then bring these ones up as well. Just like this. Then, on the fourth block up here, we're going to put some more stone, and then bring it all the way down. Just like this. And again, guys, we're going to go ahead and add in some texture here. So go ahead with your stone, your cobblestone, cracked stone bricks, whichever blocks you kind of feel work best for the area. But go ahead. And just texture up the walls so that they look a little bit more kind of uh, a bit grungy, a bit worn down, and make it feel a little bit more like a dungeon. Okay, now to section the door off here, guys, we're just going to put a couple of upside down stairs like that. And then from the inside here, we're going to put two doors. And then we're going to run around to this side here. And again, you can use any door you want here, and we're going to put it right there. Okay, perfect. Right, okay, so we've got some of the areas in. Let's go ahead and work our little cells out. So first of all, guys, we're going to just make a little bed on the side here with some slabs like this. Let's put a little pillow with a bit of grey carpet. We'll also do the same on this one here. Something like that. And I guess we'll put a bucket of water, we'll put our lever, face it downwards, and then boom, something like that. And we can do the same over here. So cauldron, lever, 
and water. And then finally, I'm going to close this one off like this. Okay, so we're just going to put iron bars all the way around. Now you could go ahead and put a villager in there if you wanted to make it seem like there's somebody in there. Make sure you've got a torch at the back there like that to light it up. Or if you really wanted, you could put a lantern at the top here. But I want it to look a little bit more grungy, so we're going to go for just a torch. Now, put some iron bars on that side, iron bars that side. And on this side, we're going to make it look like there's a gate that is open, okay? So that nobody is in there just yet. Something like that. And we can actually do the same on this one as well. Okay? Something like that. So the gates are open. Nobody's been taken into that cell just yet. But this one here is closed off for now. Now, we will be adding a few more details in this hallway and stuff in a minute. But for now, we're going to head around the side here. Because this room in here is going to be the torture room. Now, before we start doing the room up and everything in here, guys, we're going to go ahead and first of all, we're just going to do the roof. So for the roof here, I'm going to go ahead and put in some beams on every other block. OK, like this, all the way across to the other side. Continue the pattern all the way across. OK, so in here, all the way across on every other block like this, and then just cross them across to this side. Once your beams are all in place, guys, we're going to go ahead and we're just going to put some upside down stairs underneath them like this. And then in the gaps, we're going to put upside down ones again, just like this in the corners. OK, and then we'll repeat it on this side. Okay, once you're done, we're going to just add a little bit of detail to the ceilings. Now, this is going to be really simple here, guys. We're just going to literally add a few little bushes here and there, sort of coming down, maybe wrapping itself up here. We can make it sort of bring itself around here. We don't want too many, just a few odd ones as if they're sort of growing through the roof. Now, and again, just keeping them pretty random. I mean, you know, that's probably all we need in here. And then once you've done that, in between here in little areas, just add the odd cobweb, but not too many. We don't want this looking like a spider cave or anything like that. We just want it to look uh, just a little grungy. There we go, something like that. Now, we're going to repeat that in this side here as well, okay? So again, for this one, I think what we're going to do is... Yeah, we're just bringing the beams all the way down this way, okay? So we'll start from here, bring that beam there, then we'll bring one here, and just repeat the pattern all the way across, and then again, continue the pattern as you come down here as well. We want to fill this in with all of our beams, so let's get that in place. Okay, once you're done, we're going to go ahead and we're going to repeat the pattern we've done beforehand. So we're going to go ahead and we'll start from this one. We'll put two four blocks and then a slab and then upside down stair. Do the same pattern on this one. Just like that. And then we'll go ahead, we'll put in a four block there. Maybe two, actually we'll go two three slabs. Make these two at the back four blocks, and then we can put upside down stairs across like that. And this one might be a little tricky, but we should just be able to get in there and do it. There we go, just like that. And this side here is going to have to be a little bit different. So we've got a solid support. This one here goes straight into the wall, and I'm pretty sure that that goes to the outside. Oh, no, it doesn't. So we can connect that one up here. Now it's going to look like it's connected into this wall here, giving it a bit more of a stronger support. Uh, we could just go ahead. Let's do that same pattern, I think, again. Oops. Using the upside down stair. So repeat that pattern there. Over here, obviously, we can't, we can't repeat that band. It's just not going to work. But we can repeat it underneath this one here. And then we'll do it again on this one here, which will be one more over. 
and then again in that gap we'll go ahead and we'll put a four block a four block and a slab and then we'll go two upside down stairs like that and then just repeat it in any of the gaps that you have now here might need to actually come out a little bit further so we'll put a full block behind that one and then that way we can get in our slabs our stairs across there and we'll probably we'll just leave that like that actually yeah and then again guys just in all of the gaps that you find just make sure you repeat the pattern the best you can okay now i'm not going to do it on this side but i will go ahead and just put some upside down stairs underneath these ones and in the gaps down here and i think that will do i think that looks good now that's in place guys let's just go ahead again and repeat add in some bushes and some of our cobwebs and you can even put a couple of spruce fences on the ceiling as well just to make it look like there's some branches sticking through or something like that just to make it look a bit more worn down in here so let's go ahead and do that as well all right guys there we go i think that is actually looking really cool i really like the way this is looking now let's go ahead head over into this room and we're going to start working on the torture area so right in the center here, we've got two blocks. So there's six blocks across. So in the two center ones, we're going to place two of our stone slabs, another two, another two, making it three coming out down three, and then two just here like this. Then we're going to go ahead. We're going to put in a polished andesite block in each corner, a comparator face in this way. This is just for looks, guys. And we're going to just put it on reverse, like into a is it reverse mode. Yep, subtract mode. Uh, by the way. <laughs> And then we're going to go ahead and put in our grindstones like this. We're going to put in a couple of levers to look like kind of holders for chains. Let's get rid of that torch. Now it is a bit dark in here, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put in a lantern up there. Um, we'll put in another lantern. What one are we on? That one there. We'll go put a lantern on this one. And then one on this one. Now they don't have to be lined up. We are in a dungeon after all. After all, it doesn't have to look like it's organized or anything. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put in a, hmm, I'm going to go ahead, let's put in a polish on the side block there. Let's break the one above it like that as well, and one also here. Okay, so right in front of the stairs, okay. Then we're going to get ourselves some iron bars. And we're going to make it look like it connects to these, maybe some kind of uh you know some way of electrocuting the prisoners or something like that okay and then a little bit of redstone there to make it look a bit like blood and i think that is looking pretty cool i like that and you know what thinking about it i've got a better idea for the line rather than doing it so it's in the ceiling let's make it look a little bit more grungy let's add some like random shelves so on the upper half of this block i'm gonna put the um the dark oak trapdoor and then a lantern on top let's get rid of that one and that one and we'll also get rid of that one then um this little corner here let's go ahead i think on this one this one here put a lantern on top let's get rid of that torch let's get rid of the other torches at the moment so we can see how bright it is we'll also get rid of that one there we go and i think maybe we'll put one about here yeah i think that looks good okay so now we want to make maybe some chests for a little uh, kind of like a bunch of tools so the person who's torturing the person they might need some different tools so we'll get some chests we'll get some item frames and let's find some good torture weapons we could have well we could have an axe could have some kind of sword maybe even arrow some kind of blade and we'll put those across here let's put three of them and we accidentally put our chest away let's grab our chest again if it works there we go <laughs> we'll crouch place three different chests and we'll put in the axe the sword and then maybe the arrow something like that yeah and i think that looks pretty good 
Now let's just get a couple of things to kind of make it look a little bit more full, like a bit of storage area. So we get some barrels and maybe we could grab one of those. We can also get maybe an anvil because I think it just feels like it might work. They might want to sharpen some tools or something like that. So they might need something along those lines. So let's go ahead. We'll put in one, two, three of our barrels like this. Maybe we stand one just there. Um, we can always throw in an anvil just there. Maybe even another anvil there. And yeah, I think that looks good. Now we're going to need a few kind of water buckets in here in case they wanted to um, either give the prisoners some water or stick their head in the bucket, one or the other. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll also get a water bucket. And we'll fill those up. Okay, that looks good. Now, one thing that I thought was really cool was adding in two of these. So if on the third block up, the uh, tripwire hooks, they kind of look like, um, like little holsters where you chain up prisoners. So I thought that would be good on there. And then maybe we could get away with two more just here for another prisoner in here. Over here, I was going to just put like a little cage. I thought a little cage. So if we use our stone, maybe even our crack stone again, and we'll just build a wall up all the way to the top of the ceiling underneath here like this. And we'll go ahead. Hmm. Yeah, we'll go ahead. We'll do that. Let's get rid of these ones here and we'll just bring this down a little bit like that. And inside here, we can just go ahead and fill this up with some cobblestone or blocks of your choice just like that and we'll bring this up one more as well in this little gap Ooh, like that and again make sure you go ahead and texture it guys don't keep it all cracked stone because that would just look really weird so go ahead and just texture up with any blocks of your choice okay once you've got that in place let's go ahead and i think in here we're gonna go ahead and probably get ourselves a lantern Let's just throw a lantern in there and then we'll go ahead and we'll just seal this off like another little cage. Okay, something like that. And I think that looks good. Let's get our redstone again. We could just add a little dot here. Maybe something like this where maybe we've had people in here before. Um, and in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move that over by one. Let's get rid of that one. Um, or in fact, we can just get rid of that one altogether. We've got one over here, which would be fine. Um, but I think we could put a little electric chair here. So, and we could go like that with our stair. Then we put our back. Let's put two of our sides on like this. And then why not a little harness, a little new stair, like maybe choking them or something with a, they could tie a rope around their neck with it. I don't know, something along those lines. And then maybe we can even go ahead and get a lever and we could do a lever here as if it's an electric chair, although we don't want it to do that. Um, yeah, I like that. I think that looks pretty cool. Okay, I think this looks like a pretty good torture chamber. I'm pretty happy with this. Um, I think we could probably just do a couple more bits of storage just to make it look a bit more sort of like the area is just a little bit more full up with stuff. Something like that. Yeah, I think that looks good. And then what we'll do, we'll move this cauldron over one. And then we can use this wall for where we would have held another prison with our two hooks like that. That looks good. And then we just get our bucket of water. And we can go ahead and put that in there. I don't know what we could use it for. Threatening to chop their heads off, maybe. We could just put one of those in there as well. Yeah, I like that, guys. I think that is going to do for the torture room. I like it. We've got plenty of sort of ideas in here. So uh, they can certainly get tortured. Now, let's come out of this room. And we're going to come around here. So we've got our cells all in place now, which is pretty good. We've got that all there. Um... To be honest, there's not an awful lot of other things that we can really do with the rest of this area here because this we can't fit more cells on this side. It would be way too cramped in here. I mean, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, no, we wouldn't be able to fit that in at all. But what we can do 
is right in the middle of the wall here. We can do it again. Two more of these, and we can make it look like little areas where prisoners might be held. Now, let's get rid of that. And what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to just add in a few of our lanterns. So let's add one here. So we're two blocks from the front. You have a two block gap, we'll do another one. One, two, we'll do another one. One, two. Yeah, something like that. And then round this side here, again, we're gonna try and go approximately in the middle, something like that. Yeah, that looks good. Then we can get rid of these ones. These ones and this one. We'll leave that one there for the moment because there's no light over in that corner. But yeah, that looks good. And then we can just add a couple more of these here maybe. Maybe even another one there. Yeah, that looks good. I think we'll just keep it for that for now. So we could go ahead maybe just pile up some barrels like this over here. This guy could be bleeding. Someone who's been here was bleeding before. Um, he's left some of his food. A bit of rotten meat there now. Or rotten flesh. Uh, in the corner here, let's just pile up a bundle of these. So we'll come out to about here. Something like that. And then get rid of that one. And what we do is we'll throw in a lantern about there. Yep, that looks pretty good. Over here again, we're going to just again bundle in some uh, of these um, the barrels, something like this. We'll throw down another tray over here. Maybe this guy's tray can be put on there. Again, we're just going to put some rotten meat in there and some rotten meat in there. And then what we do is we're going to make, because we've got the blood over here, this, or the redstone, let's see if we can make it just kind of dotted like this to the door as if somebody's been taking their bleeding or something like that now you can also go ahead and do that on the insides here something like this a little bit of blood um, and if you wanted to you could go ahead and break that and maybe something like that yeah that's looking pretty good Alright, now over here again, I'm going to go ahead and stack up a few of these to make a little kind of um, like a stacked up area of crates. Make it look like some form of storage. Something like that. And again, we can go ahead and we'll put in one of those. And on here, we're just going to go ahead, maybe just put a couple of item frames maybe there's more meat in there to feed feed them something like that yeah this is looking pretty good i like this and we can put two over here one two over here and then i think we just put i i think the iron armor will do you could put some chain mail on them or any iron armor that you want but we don't want it to look too expensive considering that these are going to be just guards that are torturing people yeah there we go i think that looks pretty good other than that guys i don't think we need to do much more maybe just an odd little box here or there you could even add in another lantern and areas that feel a bit dark now, if you do find that there are any areas here where mobs are going to spawn, what you can do is go ahead, get yourself some glowstone and some light gray carpet. Okay. And what you want to do is go around in any area that feels too dark where mobs are going to spawn. And you can do that. Okay. Glowstone and then a bit of gray carpet. And this will work in literally anywhere, guys. The gray carpet blends in really well on the floor here. Okay, so if you need to, go around and add that in any spots that look a bit dark. But other than that, guys, I would say that is the dungeon area here all, all, all done. I think that is good. I really like the way this has turned out. I think it looks pretty cool. 
It looks like a dungeon. It feels more grungy than the castle, and that's you know that's what I wanted. I wanted it to feel a bit more run down and a bit more sort of sort of grubby and sort of uh, yeah, and not not a very nice place. Oh, down this little bit here under the stairs, we can um, we can leave that little area there. I would go ahead and maybe put in some of your um, barrels again, something like this. Again, just keeping it sort of like so it looks like a bit of a sort of storage area something like this we can also put in maybe some chests yeah something like that and then maybe again i don't know why but anvils seem to feel like a good kind of little filler as well. So sometimes just putting a few of them in there. I don't know. It just feels like a storage area. I like it. Okay. And guys, I think that is just about it for the dungeon here. We've got quite a lot in place today. We've got two big main rooms here. And I really like it. I think it looks good. I think there are a few dark spots in here though. So we probably will need to do some of the um, carpet in here. Something like that. That does feel much better. Okay, cool. Now, we will go ahead at some point and put a stairway in down here, but I'm not too sure how we're going to connect this one up just yet. Because we're on this upper floor here, which I was considering doing a little kind of guest area, I don't know if I really want to have an area here that connects down to the dungeon. So I'm going to have a little bit of a think about whether we put a stairway in here or if to change the area that we're doing up there. Um, yeah, there's just a little bit of thinking to, that I need to do before I go ahead and get that in place. Now we're going to come out of this room here and we're going to head directly across the uh, storage room. So we're going to go all the way around this side, go directly to the opposite side here, which is a big, big large area. Now, I don't think we're going to get a chance to finish this area up today, but we'll make a start. So first of all, we're going to come over here and I'm not sure whereabouts to tell you. So we're going to just randomly break two blocks here, which are two blocks up from the ground. And if we come out here, we can see, oh, there's one block off. This is the one we want to break. There we go. So we've got our door. We've got a little doorway we're going to make just here. And this is going to be the doorway, which is just where our archery range is. So this is going to be the armory. So let's break that one block there and we'll get our planks. We're going to place a plank there. Now on the inside here, we're going to place one here and then one, two, one, two, that side. We're going to also go all the way across like this. And we're going to bring these three over here. In fact, we're going to just keep it as that free, free and free. So we've got a little stairway. Okay, now we're going to make a start by getting in all of our walls. So first of all, we're going to go ahead and get in some of our sandstone. So we're going to put one here, one here, one here, one here. And we're going to bring that all the way up to the ceiling. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and get in our spruce log. And we're going to place it right here on this corner. And we're going to bring that all the way up to there. Okay, and now that is one block forward from the back of the block here. And we're gonna do the same on this side, bring it up all the way until we get to there. In this corner here, we're gonna go ahead and put a torch or something in this little corner. And then we're gonna go ahead and bring another pillar up all the way to the ceiling there. One which is diagonal. Leave a full block gap. And then right here, we're gonna bring a pillar all the way to the ceiling. Then over this side here, we're gonna place another one right here. We're going to bring that all the way up to the ceiling. Then we're going to leave a one block gap and we're going to go one, leave another one block gap, two, one block gap, three, one block gap, four, one block gap, five, I think for the moment. So we should have one and two. I think we actually don't need that one. I think it's four there, five, including the first pillar there. Let's go ahead and take those to the ceiling and then fill the gaps with our smooth sandstone. Okay, now that's all in place, we're going to come over to where our door is. 
And we're going to leave a one block gap above the door across here. Let's put in our sandstone across here. One block underneath like so. And that should be good. Then we're going to get our spruce logs again, our strip spruce logs, and bring them across all the way from that side. We'll put an upside down one over here, an upside down one over here. And then we're just going to quickly grab our smooth sandstone stairs and we're going to place an upside down one just underneath here and here just to finish off the door. Now at this point here guys, we're gonna go ahead, add another row of blocks here and another row of your blocks here. Add your spruce stairs in front, just like this. Then we're gonna go one, one, two, three with our stone bricks, then two, then one. Three, two, and one. And it's up to you, but if you wanted to, you could change that to go into the wall like that so that it kind of blends in. It depends how you prefer the look. Then upside down stairs on front of those and these ones just here as well. At the very top here, let's just put a lantern on each side like this. Now we'll go ahead and we'll get a door in there in just a moment. Okay, now that's all in place, we're gonna go ahead, turn around and where we got the doorway here, we're gonna leave a one block gap at each side and then we're gonna place down our strip spruce logs, just like this. On the right hand side here, we're going to leave a three block gap and then place another one just here. From the one on the left here, we're going to actually come forward. Okay, so we're going to leave a three block gap and place one just there. Leave another three block gap and place one just there. And then finally, one more three block gap and place one just there. Then we're going to turn so we're facing the wall again and we're going to leave a three block gap, place one there. Then from here, we're going to go ahead and place one diagonally from this one. Okay, one diagonally backwards. Then we're going to leave a five block gap. So one, two, three, four, five, and then place one here. Get rid of the five in the center. And then we should have a five block gap. One, two, three, four, five between this pillar and the one on the corner. Okay, let's go ahead and raise all of our strip spruce logs all the way to the ceiling. Okay, now that we've got all of our logs in place, we're gonna go ahead and starting from this little gap on this side, we're gonna place three of the logs coming across here, then five across this gap here. Then from this one here, we're gonna connect the log across here in our three block gaps all the way down to the corner here. Let's turn, place three more across here, five in this one, and then five in this one just here, just like that. Then every other block, we're gonna continue the pattern that we've been doing throughout the build, like this with our pillars. So just place two like this in between all of your gaps to bring them up to the ceiling so they are level. Now, before we do anything else, guys, make sure that you go ahead and you light up the tops of these walls. We don't want any mobs spawning inside the gap there, okay? So anywhere you have these areas, just go ahead, make sure you've got torches around here so that no mobs will be spawning, okay? Now, coming back around here, we're gonna get our smooth sandstone and we're gonna fill in these little gaps at the tops of our pillars. Okay, that is looking good. Now, if we go to where the doorway is, we're going to come inside to this room here. We're just going to place some markings for a wall. So we're going to cover this three block gap first of all. The second one in the middle, we're going to leave a one block gap in the middle. Then we're going to come to the corner here, making sure we're diagonally inwards. Then we're going to bring this one all the way down to this wall here. Then behind here, we're going to bring this all the way down to here. These blocks here can be filled in with anything. It doesn't matter what we do with those ones. Then behind here, we're going to go to and two like this for the moment. These ones here, we're gonna just bring them up so they are four blocks high, and then connect them in the middle. This one here, we're gonna place three more on top again, making it four blocks high, and just bring it all the way down, and connect it up to here. 
I'm going to go ahead and just fill this corner area up here. You can fill it with any block you want, dirt, gravel, it doesn't matter. It's going to be hidden out of the way. And at the top here, just go ahead, put in some torches to make sure that nothing spawns. Now, the rest of the wall here, we're going to again bring it up so it's four blocks high in total. And we're going to bring that up all the way around. And then once you're done, just go ahead, place one more right in that gap there for your doorway. And then if we just grab our stone, our smooth stone stairs, our smooth sandstone stairs, that is, sorry guys, we can go ahead and place that one just there. Now to keep it lit up in here, I'm going to get my lantern and I'm going to place one in that gap there. Where the doorway is here, I'm going to place two of the spruce fences and then a lantern on top at each side i'm gonna place one in the middle here all the way across one in the middle just here um over here we've got a doorway i'm gonna put two of our spruce fences at the bottom and i'll put one here one here i'm gonna leave that gap for the moment now from here we just put our upside down stairs in the gaps underneath here like this and we're gonna do that all the way around Now that's done, let's go ahead and break some of these torches that are on the floor. And then we're going to go ahead and put in the gaps here. We're going to put upside down stairs at each side and then either a slab or an upside down stair in the middle. Leave the gap for the door here, but do it in the rest of the gaps where you don't have doorways. So here, here, we've got this pretty big one across here. And then last but not least this little one here okay now before we do anything else i think it's time to get in some beams so we're going to start with i think this one over in the corner on the ceiling and what we do is we're going to bring this all the way across until we join on the other side all the way to there now we're going to go across to this one here so we're skipping three blocks and we're going to go all the way across to the back leave a three block gap and we're going to just do this one here as well and again bringing it all the way to the back now get your spruce slabs and in the middle of this three block gap here we're going to bring in the slabs all the way down to the back of the build or to the other side and then we'll do the same in this gap here. Now, just over in this little gap here, we just need to get one more beam in here. Again, leaving that three block gap. So we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add the slab right in that middle there, okay? Now let's go ahead and get our spruce trapdoors, or you can use dark oak or something else if you're liking, it's entirely up to you. And what we're going to do is in the other gaps, so in this gap here and here, we're going to run our trapdoors. This one here will be trapdoors across like this. Do the same over here. And then we're going to do the same in this gap, so we can just come across like this and just bring it all the way down. Okay. So now we're just going to put in our trapdoors all the way across, covering all of these gaps. And we'll stop once we get to this beam here, okay? We're going to leave this section around here. Because here, we're going to actually have a little walkway that's going to go up a, a stairway, which leads us into the feast hall, right near where the king sits. So we're going to do that uh, uh, later on. But for now, let's just go ahead and get all of our trapdoors in place. Okay, now we got that all in place, we're gonna do something for underneath the main beams. So starting on, on this side, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna put two four blocks like this, upside down stair over here, and then a slab on here. Okay, and we're gonna do the same thing everywhere we have these main beams just here. Okay, then we're gonna do the same on this side here. Okay, and repeat exactly the same pattern. And the pattern's gonna be two four blocks 
stairs underneath and then a slab at the very front. Okay, now we've got that all in place, we're going to go ahead and just fill the gaps with a similar pattern to what we've done outside. So we're going to break these ones here at this edge. We'll put in three four blocks, put in three upside down stairs underneath here. Break this one, this one and this one and we'll put in some four blocks. And then these ones here can be slabs. Just like this, okay. And we're going to repeat that again. So just one more time guys, we're going to break the ones at the back put some four blocks there with some stairs underneath the next row is gonna be four blocks and then we can break one there put a slab one there put a slab okay so now we've done this side let's go ahead and repeat that over here Alright guys, before we finish up, we're going to come over to the gap here in the wall. We're going to put upside down dark oak stairs across here and an upside down one here. This only has a four block gap, um, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to fill it up the same way we've been doing with the others. At the top here, we're going to put a beam across here, but at the very top, we're going to actually just fill all of this with the smooth sandstone, just like this, okay? Just to even it out a little bit, and then we're going to go ahead and put in our upside down stairs at the side like this. And then I think we're probably going to go ahead and we'll probably end up just putting like a lantern at each side, I think, just to brighten it up on there for now. Yeah, we'll go ahead. We'll leave it like that for the moment. Now, guys, we still got loads of work to do in here. We've got loads of armor stands, um, a big table, loads of more storage, loads of weapons and storage all in this room here, which is going to be really cool. Um, so we're going to have our stairway over there. We're going to have a stairway at the back here that goes up to our tower. This room here, I don't know what I'm going to do with it just yet. Maybe more storage for weapons or maybe something else. I'm not sure. Uh, but this does have a little pathway that leads down to the room above the uh, separate house, the one that's opposite the blacksmith. Um... But guys, this is really starting to shape up now. I've got so many ideas in place now for the rest of the build. So I'm pretty sure that we should be able to start finishing up some of the rooms and get this build complete. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting to complete this build. So I do apologize that it's taken so long, guys. But this is um this is a pretty huge build. So it's, it's took a little bit of uh, thinking for me to make sure that I get enough rooms and enough different ideas so that nothing feels too much of the same. Now, with that being said, guys, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up just here. So, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Just don't forget to hit that bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. But for now, this is Blue Nerd signing out, and I will catch you guys in the next one.